After four decades, Hyatt Regency Saipan announced it will be closing its doors on June 30th. The president of Saipan Portopia Corporation, which owns the hotel, Hitoshi Nakauchi, said in a statement, Despite our best efforts and after months of careful consideration and exploring many avenues, the harsh realities of the current landscape have forced us to make the difficult decision to close this special place. It comes two years after they renewed their public land lease with the Sinemai government for 40 years. NMI Governor Arno Palacios commented on the news after a proclamation signing ceremony for Tourism Month. This is very unfortunate, uh, disappointed, saddened at the same time. He said he learned about the closure at the same time as the public. We're going to have to pick up the pieces and move forward. Uh, what, is, what are our options? We're going to have to clearly, clearly and deliberately identify those. The governor said his legal counsel, the attorney general, and the Department of Public Lands are mapping out the next steps as they review the lease agreement. Palacios also instructed the Department of Labor to assist hotel employees in the transition. Mariana's Visitors Authority Managing Director Chris Conception explained the state of the tourism industry during the proclamation event. We still have uh, less than half the total number of arrivals that we've had before the pandemic. The Saipan Chamber of Commerce has been alerting lawmakers about the dire circumstances. The chamber, you know, has been pre predicting this, um, and we have raised the flag and said this is what's going to happen, and it's happening now. Um, you know, I don't want to name names, but there are other major operators in the cinema that have indicated to me personally that things are not looking good for their operations. Meanwhile, the Hotel Association of the Northern Marianas, which includes Hyatt, reported a 38% average occupancy rate last year. They said they begin to make a profit at 80% and are in survival mode. They said in a press release, the current situation is unsustainable. Failure to act will almost certainly result in more business closures. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.